What's going on, YouTube? Metal Complex here, and welcome to episode 100 of The Knife Guy. Uh, today, I'm joined by the, the knife, not the, like the knife guy, the knife guy, the knife nut himself, Levon of The Knife Nuts Podcast. What's going on, man? Not much, man. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for, for having me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we, uh, we've, we've gotten to know each other a, a lot better over the last uh, few months and I always mention that it's crazy because you know I've told you this a million times and I've told the people who watch my channel a million times that that's the, the, the how I kept my sanity driving between these wonderful but very small towns out here in Kansas <laughs> how I kept my sanity for so long was just listening to every single episode of the Knife Nuts podcast so Thank you for that. I oh, really man. appreciate it. Oh, that means a lot. You know, it, I'm glad we're contributing to uh, someone's mental health as we slowly uh, deteriorate our own while we record it. So, uh, <laughs> oh my uh, God. It's, it's, it's always fun, though. I'm just kidding. I, and fortunately, I wasn't driving. By the way, guys, there's a link for uh, Knife Nuts Podcast down in the description. It'll be right at the top, it'll be for their YouTube, YouTube channel, but they'll also link. The website that'll take you to the older episodes of the podcast so you guys can see everything it is well worth your time to do that i love having like when i'm doing chores man around the house i just have my phone in my pocket and it's just on you guys talking and i'm it's just i'm i'm picking up every last little thing and it that's the i laughed so hard and i sent it to you guys in the group that it was the one with <laughs> It was the one with slicey dicey oh, God. and you, the punisher thing oh my god i laughed so hard it was a, a my i can't repeat exactly what you said but the i don't thing even with remember the punisher, but <laughs> you were mocking like the punisher uh the, there was something like if it, uh, if it uh, involves mocking slicey dicey <laughs> i mean i basically do that all the time so <laughs> you I, do i can't do. uh i can't I mean, remember individual scenarios you dish it out fair though, man. Like, you know, it's not like you specifically pick on one person no. and that's a great, yeah. You could, you definitely give me crap too. And it's, um, it's all, it's all out of love. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you, it was like, uh, so you were joking about people who buy stuff with, you know, stuff that appeals to a very particular crowd, like the Punisher skull and, and sure. <laughs> you somehow circled back to the neck tattoo and the YouTube channel. And you, right. it was like, it was totally unexpected yeah. and i was drinking you know what i was i was i was drinking carbonated no i was drinking <laughs> carbonated water just a dumb thing to be drinking and i that so just fancy. It, it came out of my eyeballs and my ears and my nose and i just like laid on the floor and wept i was laughing oh, so hard god that was funny <laughs> but that happens a lot and uh i just you know you listen and and you kind of pick up on everybody's personality and everything like that but it's just fun. So thank you for that. I appreciate oh, it. It's my pleasure. You know, we're, we're kind of um, lucky to be a group of guys that really get along and can really play off each other's um, insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, it keeps us down to earth and uh, keeps it kind of fresh because you know, we don't ever, I would say maybe 50% of the podcast is knife oriented and the rest of it is maybe just but, silly banter. Uh, that's, that's what people, I mean, like there's, there's an, there's an endless flow of serious knife content on YouTube, right? Sure. There's an endless, an endless, flow. and it's, it's obviously we like to kind of, you know, I like to go back and forth with stuff, but it's always fun to just let something that I appreciate is the total like there there's not generally a moment when you guys are talking where you you have to pause and figure out how to be reserved about the frozen sledgehammer blow that you're about to deliver to so <laughs> and i love that because a lot of times like like when i'm talking about stuff i'm like i'm about to say something negative and i need just a moment to decide how i want to word this so as not to be and um like, it's not that you guys intentionally try to be like, if, if something is great, you say it. If something's not great and you're not feeling it, you say it. And it's right. right. There. And it's so, un, it's so pure. Right. And it, whether that's the thing, whether or not 
I, I always agree. I just appreciate the, the, the pureness, the raw, like, you know, this is exactly you know, what it, I've been. It comes from a place of passion and a love of knives, you know? That's really where it, it's, that's all it is. You know, why would we get so worked up over something so trivial? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. here's the thing, like, I, I was talking to Dave, you know, our co-host Dave, uh, who mm. we do a lot of new YouTube content with, which we were having a lot of fun with. So um, shameless plug, make sure you check that stuff out. Um, you know, there's, there's a cadence to the way you can like roast a knife company. Yeah. Um, and the way they react to it is sort of a measure of what that company is really about. Um, for example, in an earlier, uh, in a YouTube video we posted a little while ago, um, entitled artisan cutlery is, is the woat. So like, you know, not, not the goat, but the, the woat. <laughs> oh, uh, um, and then in parentheses, we added, but they are really nice guys. So <laughs> we go in and we look at their entire catalog and completely destroy it. You know, <laughs> we, and you know, we give credit where credit is due. Like, you know, sure. great people work for them. They have some new designs come in all this other stuff. And here's the kicker. I mean, it's, it leads to some funny, funny stuff, but artisan replied and they couldn't have been classier about it. You know, oh, that's so cool. Was it, was it Russell? It, of course it was Russell. Oh, uh, he is, dude. He's, a, that guy he's always is. he's always a sweet man, and this is why I kind of felt comfortable sort of digging into them a little bit because yeah. I know they're a newer company, and some of those designs are absolute nightmares. <laughs> and self admittedly, you know, it's not like it's not like it's secret. All you have to do is look at it. It's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, I'm also a firm believer in the idea that there's no such thing as bad publicity. I think that that's super. And here's the thing you, and clearly artisan cutlery feels that way, you know, artisan, like artisan gets a thumbs up for me after that. Oh, dude, I've had nothing but a pleasant experience. And I think, I think that Russell knows what stuff I will and won't like. Cause I did watch one of your recent, it may have been what you're talking about. I watched one for you and Dave were looking at. We probably what, mentioned them a couple of times, honestly. It was, <laughs> There was a design, and it's not. I mean, it's Artisan Color is nowhere near the only company who's built no, it. There's a just lot. Of, easy, they're just an easy one to use an example because yeah. they're such cool people. When you, you were talking, was it the one where you guys were talking about like there's no, and and I think Dave gave an example to a video game company where there's no, like it's just like a flat line, like there's no approval, like higher up approval. They just, yeah. they're just like, I made this and put it up, you know? I, and there is that um that shovelware mentality that goes with a lot of newer knife knife companies i just like to um you know i said this a while ago in our chat and in, in one of the chats that i'm in you may or may not know of this chat uh, i think a lot of companies you know they try and do a what a where and a how but they don't ever think about the why am why are we doing this <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it with I, myself, <laughs> and I think that that I think that that resonates with people. Like, if you have a why and can say like, "This is this is why we're doing this," whether it's something as trivial as like, "This is a pretty knife and we want to put it out there," it counts for a lot. You know, sure, sure, absolutely. And I, you know, sometimes I respect the crazy, like sure. the, the out of the the totally ridiculous. Because I've always said that there's a huge and again just random uh, opinions of we just belched at the same pack. time by the way did we oh yeah. my gosh it's a unity thing um, it's because of our monster it's our uh yeah let's do, he that, went with there's the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> just but in fact so should we both do a, like a horribly oh cheesy yeah smile? yeah yeah can we do it <laughs> oh perfect that's yeah. that'll be just fantastic for the yeah. thumbnail um but uh like I've always said that there's a difference between stuff that I think is a ge genuinely recommendable design, you know, but I oh, yeah. personally hate it, but it, like, like the bench made bug out. Yeah. Okay. Don't like it. Sure. But is it a recommendable knife? Is it a good design? I, I certainly think so. Um, mm -hmm. But there's other things that I don't think are fantastic designs like the uh, three quarter AR, but I just love, it. I can't help it. I just really like it. You know? 
And sometimes that weirdness, that craziness will resonate with some people. And it, it's just absolutely ridiculous and it makes no sense. And they, they kind of have artisans sometimes it seems like has a shotgun strategy with those um, designs. And so sometimes I look at it and I'm like, no, hard yeah. pass for me, but okay, sure. it's there it is, you know, it's there. And then they do other things like the one from, um, well, it, it's the one that looks very similar to a Leong Ma that apparently was given a thumbs up. And I was like, I really like this, but I also really liked the uh, the field duty that you right. sent me. You know, so I. But yeah, it is what I it is. I, it is but, what it is. Yeah. But to your point, like, I love a guilty pleasure night. Like, oh. you know? that sounds real dirty, but you know what I mean. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, there can be a knife that's just oh, this is so bad it's good. Sort of. Dude, I don't like like uh, if you didn't know. Right. I really like hinderer knives, right? Oh, yeah. um, and I own two XM24s. That's not they, my favorite. No, they're, they're actually to the point, and I'm going to make some people mad, but I, I'm a hinderer fan and I love them. But they are so far beyond, like, uh, it, it's just like, it, it's just completely and totally inconvenient to have this. It's definitely the Ram truck of knives. <laughs> <laughs> <It is. laughs> but it might as well just put longhorn on it that's, the, tr that's so, the trim level it looks like uh something Limited. that could be like you know they do the typical like at nearly at sunset on like a wavy dirt road and it's yeah. just like close up of yeah. and it's but like, it's just an xm24 floating along a floating dusty road. not everyone travels. No, don't get, and i don't want to i don't want to mince my words here because I like Hinderer. I got oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure. I, Rick Hinderer is a great dude. He actually yeah. invited Jake and I to his ranch one time to shoot a lot of guns. Wow. So Rick Hinderer knows who you guys are. He doesn't. He, he I'm, doesn't sure, I'm sure he knows who you are. <laughs> I'm sure he does. That's cool. Are you going to do it? Or when was this a long time ago? Or was it, was it like the last Blade show we went to? So what was it, and 2019? That sounds so cool. That's a that <laughs> that sounds. I'm still, like, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to show up at this one. I might. I really, really want to so badly, and I've you know I've talked with my wife, and and she's like 100. percent You know what? I, I might go, or you might just go by yourself. But I think you know you definitely need to do that. And I was tell like, you oh. what, if you go, I'll go. All right, all right, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. We'll have to we'll have to belch over it a little bit. Oh, um, yep, I got that coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, hey, let's uh, let's talk about the new Tempest. Okay. Um, so you guys, uh, some of you know, I I did a post on it a while back, and I also I think I mentioned I said, hey, be paying attention to their Instagram because this isn't because when I bought this, every time I show this, people are like, where do I get that? You know, how do I get uh, the uh, the um, uh, Evo Typhoon? And I always have to explain, like it was a pre-order thing. And so I, tro I told people, I was like, hey, this is the, their next, you know, uh, production project. Uh, you should definitely, you know, be paying attention to Instagram and stuff. Which, by the way, guys, go follow Knife Nuts Podcast on Instagram because they do this kind of stuff. And if you want to get in on it, right, then you definitely want to be following so you can have updates. But, um, uh, but anyways, I saw that and I saw the dimensions and it was like 7.8 inches with a three and a half inch blade. And I was like, yeah. That's the money, that's the money for me. Like the blade good. to handle ratio is a massive, massive selling point for a folding knife. Like I want something that can go in my pocket with the, as much blade as I can get in there. I mean, ergonomics also, you know, if it works as a knife, even better. You know? I can tell, I can tell that. You know, what's funny, I'm not a ratio snob because I like knives I've seen, like- I know, I've seen some of the stuff you yeah. carry. It's like two yeah. inches of blade and eight inches of handle. I'm like, sure, you know, <laughs> but, but it does create for a much better asset. I mean, obviously it's not like I'm having a unique thought here when there's right. a fantastic blade to handle ratio, the knife looks better. It just right. does. And that, that first picture I saw, it was the, the drop point with the swedge and the aggressive. Bow. You're talking, so you're talking about Brian's standard run at this point, right? I think well, not the not the custom. Are we talking about the the tempest? Or are we talking about the the uh, the typhoon that you just showed? Well, kind of a. Well, I was just using it as an example because I love the ratio. Right, right, this. sure, sure, sure. But, but the mini tempest, the production uh, mini tempest that you guys just did, I saw that first picture, and I was like, 
yep, I'm going to have to have that, you know, definitely. And then I saw more and it got confusing because I, I, there was a, for, to my audience right now, or the people watching, there was, there were so many good combinations that came out and I was like, <laughs> and I, yeah, I sent this. It definitely couldn't of, go wrong with any of those. You know, we're yeah. in a position where our co-host, uh, Brian Nadeau, uh, Sharp by Design, uh, is an incredibly accomplished award award-winning knife maker uh very modern cnc designs that are you know geometrically and aesthetically beautiful you know uh and part of the perk of you know being friends with him and having our podcast is that we get to do those those limited run knife nut stuff and those are really like a passion thing you know like just getting something out there for people that uh, to people that support us and uh, you know, for people who really appreciate the little weirdness or having something, you know, cause Brian stuff's already done in limited runs. So you're all getting a, a limited edition of a limited run. So yeah. it's pretty cool. It, we like it, it really is. It really is. Um, you know, and now I've, I've been fortunate enough to handle multiple production Evo typhoons and actually a custom sharp by design. And I've said this, many times in fact uh, on the video well people will be seeing this on sunday but the video that i did in in, in your guys time yesterday saturday morning um i named the uh the the uh, evo typhoon as one of the top 20 greatest folding knife designs of all time based on what i had handled and the crazy thing and I, i've i mean this is that the the nicest knife that i have ever handled ever was the arch nemesis and I, you know, I, I love Shiro Gorovs. In fact, I, you know, you, you know, I, you and I have been talking, here goes that monster. It's getting into my brain. Yeah. Mine's, mine's going too. Oh, Jeez. Oh, cheers. <laughs> so I talked to you about wanting to pick up a Shiro, um, mm. but it's no, truthfully, nothing has ever really come close to that, that feeling I got with the arch nemesis. It was, it was what I felt in this which is incredible for the price. I don't think you, I don't think there's anything in existence that is better than the Evo Typhoon for what you guys wanted for it. Like not even close. Same thing with the, uh, the arch nemesis. I was just like, this is not from this realm. It's not from this world. It's just crazy. And that's not to say anything, you know, anything else is not worth it. No, no it's, just it's totally it's, different feeling. You know, part of that is that, you know, you have someone like Brian that, didn't come from a traditional knife making background so there's no pre preconceptions of what a knife is and what it should be you know he respects the tradition and researches it but at the same time he doesn't pigeonhole himself into tactics or or uh what's the word i'm looking for or stereotypes that a lot of you know knives tend to have well it translates visually with all the stuff and uh, so I'll find myself and you guys, you know, do that, go to, go to Instagram, follow Brian Ado. Um, but I'll find myself just, you know, seeking out his Instagram multiple times just to scroll through and look at stuff But you know, what gets me is that I don't know if it's like a basket weaver or carbon fiber milling on the blade. What do you yeah. guys call that? Is that, it was a quote? carbon fiber uh, milling pattern that he, he actually developed that. Um, I want to, that was like a, 2015 ish uh, wow. i saw him him do that on a couple of the high-end original typhoons and then the cyclone i'll send you i'll send you um my cyclone okay. um to check out that has a lot of that milling on it oh man i just it sounds like I, it would be weird but it looks really cool in person it looks so i well i've never seen it in person but i saw the pictures and i was like oh my god i think my ultimate i thought about this many times I think my ultimate dream knife as of right now is an arch nemesis with that. It'd be hard to not go with some crazy, you know, damn or this or that, but some type of um, exotic material blade with that pattern on it. And then I don't know what my fascination with, I think it's because Timascus is, it seems to be synonymous with the, it's just like what I picture. Yeah. When I, it would be a combination of like textured, Timascus with that but then there's one on his instagram that's so close to that and i i always scroll over it and i just sit there and look at it i'm just like i'm one of these people that especially when it comes to brian's designs is like a less is more sort of um 
especially when you're incorporating what his strengths are in terms of intricate milling, you really want to show that off on, on like almost a sterile surface. So like zirconium is a great material to use with Brian's stuff. Uh, I have a zirconium uh, arch nemesis, which I will send that to, I will send that. I will send that to you as well. That's like my, awesome. that's like my prized possession on top of a couple of my Lermans, but that's that, cool. That is, I mean, you'll see what I mean. Like it, Okay. I like I like time asks and stuff more as an accent, you know. Yeah, I I, I think I I think I can understand that. I I'm so new to, like, I, I've never owned a knife in full time Ascus, and I, that was always what was in my face. And I was like, you know, for the longest time, I was like, that's the pinnacle. That's what a full custom knife looks like. It has to be full time Ascus and super busy. And I think once I've finally ha owned something like that, I think I'll be able to go, okay, and then move on to the next, you know, the next things. But anyways, the whole, we're, we're kind of talking about everything there, but I, I uh, uh, the production knives that you guys do um, is, it's an immediate, for me, it's like, whatever it is they're doing, I'm interested after having handled, you know, the Evo Typhoon and I'm sure, you know, that I'm so pumped that this is a front flipper. Yeah. You got, one. you got in on the knife nuts one. Uh, yes, I did. And yes. It, it, I was so excited to see that you got, can, I can say the blade steel, right? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all done. Okay. They're sold out. They, they sold out okay. in 40 seconds like yesterday. It was terrifying. Oh, the, <laughs> the M398 blade. I was like, oh man. And I, I, I messaged you and I was like, I cannot decide between the most basic version of this or the super crazy K&P edition. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad I went with the K&P edition. I think I would have been super bummed if I had not, you know, gotten in on that. So I'm really excited about that. Well, sure. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you went in on it. Cause like, truthfully, like there's so few of them that, you know, at the end of the day, that is the most limited version of the, of the run too. So if you decide to hate it, I'm sure someone will take it off your hands. <laughs> um, I'm sure I got a thing with uh, the purple and it's, it's a new it's marvel carbon fiber right yeah is that's, that that's the branding you know carbon plate is uh they're a russian company uh that makes really really nice high-end carbon fiber and other materials there was another material i wanted to use but the cost was just it would have doubled the price of the knife um, i would have paid it <laughs> so that's the fun part for me is like i get to work with brian and, and say like look this this is what i'm thinking do you think we can make it happen it's a lot of work truthfully yeah. like trying to track the materials down like getting that m398 was serious business really yeah that's, i mean that's there's like nothing out there that's uh, m398 there, no it was it's a new steel you know it was released in november of last year and it's the first derivative of m390 and m390 came out in the 80s so you know really i did yeah. not know that came in the 80s yeah, like Holy 89 crap. ish yeah wow so i uh i immediately once i you know of course now that now that it's a reality that i will own a knife in m398 whether or not i actually plan to use it on stuff is something i can worry about down the road but uh it's you know going with the whole somebody who can um buy a super duper fancy car and just wants to let it sit in their garage and enjoy it for a little bit sure going with that mentality so i started researching m398 and I uh, read Laren Thomas's uh, information on it. Yeah, he's got two and articles on it. One that was like a preemptive article prior to like just his initial impressions. And then one after he had been using it for a while. Am I correct in remembering that? And I may have had a few Gatorades uh, while I was reading this, but if you're so hydrated, I'm you're so hydrated all the, the time through the roof. It's what plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite movies of Absolutely. all time oh my god idiocracy um but anyways is the edge retention approaches s 125v am i remember that yeah that correctly yeah that i is... mean it's a byproduct of added vanadium and uh and more carbon okay all right so you're getting you you sacrifice toughness for edge retention right. sure, it's always it's, a given it's always a give and take it's still pretty high in chromium though. Isn't it like 18% yeah. something like yeah. that chromium? So it's still staying, it'll still sit nice and free. But I, I am a big fan of the limited run thing. And you know, not, I know not everybody's got their own feelings about this or that, but I like the special, I like the special super shiny. Ver and if it's got a crazy new steel, right? 
whether or not my day-to-day -day life is going to put that through its primary application. That's all besides the point. I just love, I got a thing with purple. I don't know why being a KU fan. We're, we're just, that's the, you know, me, man, I'm the same way. I just like, it looks you know good. what it is? Cause we all think we're, we're unique and beautiful and <laughs> no normal color will do. We have to go with some secondary. Crap. This will absolutely not do. That's funny. It's funny coming from Everybody somebody. Everybody thinks who, purple is their color, man. Everybody. Yeah. 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 Dudes uh, our it, age. Purple, man. Per, it's all about purple. What are you? You ain't got purple shoes. You know, yeah, a purple you got, sweatshirt. You, got, you, know, you, a purple you monster. got a purple monster. Come on. I bro. chose. I chose. I chose orange, like some kind of peasant today. The, well, no, that's that's the contrasting color to purple. That's right. Yeah. See, if you remember your color wheel. That's why we're belching in unison. That's right. That's that's exact. That's right. You know, it's the yin to my yang. Um, I, normally I pick stuff up that's monochromatic on the gray scale, but. For whatever reason, sometimes when I see purple, I'm like, yeah, I'll go ahead and go for that, you know? So this was a perfect, and you have that wicked, the, the Tanto angle starts at something like, it's like 55 to 60% the length. It's like a- yeah, So it's a very elongated Tanto. Elongated um, Tanto. So um, I like, I wanted something that split the difference between like a, look at this, that's a angry Tanto versus something that's a little more, I think doing it, doing that elongated tip just adds a little bit of elegance yeah yeah um, and since we were using a russian steel i wanted to go with i wanted to be inspired wanted the blade shape to sort of be inspired by some other russian knives so that's that's what i was going with so if you look at some like really super high-end uh custom not custom division but custom shirogorov models you'll see something very similar to that Okay. That, okay. That's, cool. that's really what I was going for. This is all getting me so, so hyped for this. I'm so, this I like, nice. I like, uh, I actually found that I like to wait. I never thought that I would enjoy, um, pre because the first knife that I had ever, ever pre-ordered and waited for was the Evo Typhoon. I've never done that before. And I was, so, I got to a point where I was like, however long it takes is how long it takes. I'm, I'm fine with it. And I was, once it finally came in, I was so happy with it. And I realized at the end of that experience, I was like, I kind of like ordering stuff and then waiting for it. Cause you get to the psychology, you know. the psychology behind it is weird, you know? Yeah. And it's something yeah. that, you know, on, on being on sort of like in the mid for me being sort of in the middle ground between like some, uh, and obviously knife enthusiasts, but like dealing it on, dealing with it on like the business side, the entertainment side and, you know, critic mm -hmm. side of things. Sure. Um, you see some of the weirdness that goes along with it. So uh, we find that, you know, people do like to have something to look forward to. You know, they get in on the rush of getting in on something exclusive. They feel like they're part of a club, which it is, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And this, this, this is, goes for me too, because I'm guilty. I do the same thing. I know what I like. So I kind of know what, guys like me who like purple and Mopar products will also like, so it's kind <laughs> yeah, of, I mean, yeah, so it's, yeah. It's kind of like that. And, and it is interesting because guys do like to look forward to stuff. Women too. It's not really exclusive to, to guys or not, but speaking as a guy, I can say that. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, speak. I mean, like I, that's, that's the only perspective I could speak on, but yeah, it is, it is, it is really enjoyable, but this time, the way did am I imagining this or did I read that the wait the wait time is not going to be as long this time is or am I imagining? I, I I don't think so. I think I I I think the wait will probably be about the same. Oh really? Okay. Because here's a couple a couple of things contribute to that. Like number one, last year was a sh uh, you know can I say can I say yeah that's now? fine whatever yeah. I don't care. Uh, uh, and it, it sort of bottlenecked a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, hopefully it won't be as it won't be as okay. I I should rescind that because it won't be as long as as the evo typhoon but it's still you're still looking at like a four to six month wait oh that's not bad that's not bad at all if you'd have told me it's gonna be a year i'd have gone no that's fine that's fine i can do it no. but yeah six, four to six months that's nothing and we, you know? the now micro the, the micro evo, evos uh including the kmp ones which uh i'm kind of excited about are scheduled to ship this week so Nice. We'll see. Eh, awesome. probably, they, they might not. And Riyadh will be like, uh, sorry, but you know, that's, that's the, 
That's the way the cookie crumbles. What are you going to do? Yeah. Sorry, we're just not. It's kind of Brian's through. problem, not mine at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when they, man. You know, it, the other piece is, is that you got to pick and choose who you pre-order from, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. not tooting our horn, but we have a pretty good reputation, you know? Yeah. Like, well, you're going to the- get your knife. It's not like, uh, you know, it's not a question about it. And if you decide to cancel it, we'll, we'll cancel it for you. It's like you, you're going to get it. And the interaction, like, I mean, there's there's some you guys have so many different sources of information and you're constantly interacting with everybody. So everybody always knows there's always there never. Yeah. yeah, there was never. I mean, in a in a time when everything was just like up in the air and I don't know. I, I've never felt more confident, like the money I, I spent, it was 515 bucks for that. And I was like, uh, I'm a hundred percent certain it'll work out exactly just fine. And I'm not worried about it at all. And there's not, there are not a lot of people I would do that with. Uh, definitely. Like there, there are companies where I'm like, you want $40 for this? Am I going to get, you know, I'd be hesitant for it on four. But- I remember ordering pins at one point and I got ghosted by the people <laughs> who I ordered the pin. I was like, seriously, man. You're going to like rob me for the pins oh my gosh it doesn't make a difference the, yeah. the truth is is that you know by the way yeah 550 for the one with the damage steel like just to put in perspective like the added cost of trying to find the um well this one had carbon plate too but those were almost 500 dollars for the ones with the m3 for, with the m398 Wow. Yeah. Well, but, but I was like, yep, because, but it, I've, I've handled this. I've experienced it. I've felt it. It's so different. It's so, well, it's, it's just so crispy. That's the word that I use when I don't have a word that pop. It just, everything just clicks and clacks and moves and it just feels so good and everything lines up perfectly. And it just feels, it feels like an, an extremely well thought out thing. Every, yeah. I mean, it, and it, it sounds dumb, but it, it feels like it was meant for your hand, which is a mark that is so often missed. Mm-hmm. in the knife world it's like what whose hand was this made for was this made to be gripped by you know a, a, a chihuahua some, a ch- a, yeah or a camel or something whose hand was it? this this makes sense for my hand and i just yeah. like it just feels comfy you know so well, i'm glad to hear you say that. i'm sure brian will too we'll be at the uh, lehigh valley uh, knife show tomorrow actually oh, so nice. it's, a, it's a little uh, little knife show here in pennsylvania so I don't know if, if uh, this goes, I don't know when this goes up, but that'll be happening. What's today? So tomorrow we're, we're filming. It's Friday. So you're going to go on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be late, be- folks. It was a great yeah. show. <laughs> we had such a great time. Tough knives was there, you know, John Gray. It was a lot of I, fun. I've never got to do any of this. I'm still the new, you know, the Dude, new, we, the new we, would have a, we would have a blast at blade show. I now you're getting Brian's got a booth. Like, Brian's got a booth. We can hang out. We can do a lot of crazy shit. That sounds awesome, man. Yeah. We gotta tell, we're gonna talk more about this yeah. 100% because now I'm like, ooh, I get to be part of the gang. Oh, awesome. Boy. Hell yeah. Um, all right, man. You know <laughs> what's funny? I, door. <laughs> so okay, so in our super cool group. Um, I have somehow been <laughs> actually, I say somehow, it makes perfect sense why they, they compare me to a Labrador, uh, <laughs> which is accurate because, <laughs> because I am enthusiastic kind of certain and very enthusiastic on an expected plane of intelligence that syncs up with no, <laughs> no, it's, it's because you see the best in people. That's a the bit. truth. Yeah, dog. And, and, and you show genuine excitement over what, you know, a lot of us who have been doing this a while have yeah. lost a lot of, you know, enthusiasm. Well, I just, I, I, you, you've made me appreciate the, what, what is most likely the golden age of this for me. And uh, I've also accepted that while, you know, maybe at some point my enthusiasm will dwindle, uh, all of these people still seem to be pretty happy you know they still yeah. like to joke around it's true so it's, it. it's it's stuck around like yeah yeah i've had many hobbies and i've been in i've been collecting knives since what 2013 2012 okay okay so it's you know it's it's had the most staying power that and mopar okay. products 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's usually what he and I are talking about when we're not. When I get a question, Miss Scusi. That was that was a good one. That was it. I covered it up like it was going to hide it, but all it did was you just amplified all the it. Sound. <laughs> 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 what was the first? Uh, <laughs> when did the Knife Nuts pot? What was episode one? How long ago? It was ago? in 2017. It was in 20. 20- See, yeah. in my head, you guys were around like during the um, primordial soup days of the knife world. I just didn't know. I thought I was like, they must have always been here. Well, it it's a it's a um, hobby that's seen steady growth uh there's new people coming into it from all walks of life it used to be like knives were considered like oh it's a taboo thing oh it's a weapon oh god no but it's it's really not it's it's functional art it's like like watches or cars or anything anything like that it's 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 a it's a fun thing and i think a lot more people are are subscribing to that no pun intended There, there are there are obviously there are a lot of great um knife related podcasts out there and i do get enjoyment from a lot of them but um yeah i I mean just again for people you know wondering you know where can i where can i get more knife content it's it's worth investing a certain i invest oh i mean multiple days a week i'll go back and i'll seek out an an episode um that it's much older uh that i haven't listened to in a long time or i'll go through you guys youtube comment just because i enjoy having the steady there's you guys are really good with the flow and it, it's there's not like a like a like long pauses where everyone's like, oh crap, what are we? Talking Maybe in about? the beginning there was, <laughs> <laughs> but it all sounds purposeful. It all it you can tell it's like coming it's coming to some type of head, and it's going to be really funny or entertaining. And so yeah, it's worth your time to invest and uh, just check out and listen to. I've uh, I've I've had so much. I've spent I've spent some awesome hours cleaning and doing dishes, listening and not really oh, wow. getting anything done while I'm, while I'm listening to you guys. So it means a lot, man. Seriously. Yeah. Like, you know, when we started, did we think anyone was going to listen to it? No, like, you know, it just seemed like something we were all in a position where I said, you know, let's give this a try and see how it goes. So, cool. and cool. luckily we're still able to do it now. So hopefully yeah. you'll see more from us in the future. Uh, I'm hoping uh, I'm really uh, the, the YouTube stuff, how it's like, there's, there's oh, you've been a great like, help, man. Thank you for helping us get, get that stuff going and well uh, yeah i really appreciate your your uh everything you've uh shared hey no problem man i that's that's the it means it's the smallest thing that i could do but i just when you said we're gonna do more youtube stuff i was like yay it's gonna be some more often you know and it's been entertaining i like watching watching you guys go through you know just just like scrolling through stuff that's new arrivals (laughs) and stuff it's just fun to hear and it it's fun because i'll I I do I scroll through and I look and I'm like oh that looks kind of neat and then sometimes you you guys say the same thing and other times you're you're like no 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 and here's why and I'm like oh I didn't consider that yeah. <laughs> and well, then I have a different you know so it's it's just fun it's really fun it's funny because like you can look at something uh, at this point now and I can be like I know what that's gonna feel like I know. <laughs> It's going to feel like a pine cone, you know, yeah, uh, something like that, you know, I don't know. Oh. And I love being proven wrong too. So that's, that's something that I really enjoy. So it is, that's why I it is nice. excited for artisan to have something to say. So, yeah, that's cool that they handle that. Well, yeah. that's awesome. I, I forgot that I was supposed to be keeping track of time. Yeah, and I, I don't know what time around. is it now. I didn't yeah, even I, bring something down here to, to check. We're doing good. I, it's only been 20 minutes. No way. Yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. Oh wait, hey. no. I'm, I'm wait. I'm lying to you. It's been like 40 minutes. No. <laughs> what time did we start? Uh, like one, one thirty, one thirty-three. Oh, okay, so it's almost an hour now. Oh well. Oops. I mean, but that's kind of how I expected it to go, right? Right. Hey, this was a blast. Obvi- I was going to say it feels like now that I'm aware, it feels like we've been talking for a long time, but it didn't while we were talking. Right. That's just what happens. Um. Well, I think. I think we, that's probably, that's probably a good place to yeah. stop. All right. Well, Hey, Levon, it's oh, been a, it's been a joy. Right. I know I'm never going to mess it up again because it was so, <laughs> it was so embarrassing. That was when amazing. I, I love when that. I with talk, with Nick with Nick, when I was talking with him and I, and I'll, the actual moment when I was there, I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but if you go back and listen, when I was on your podcast, 
I was really reserved and timid. And I was like, I am not going to say anything weird. I'm not going to step out of line. I'm not going to try, try to make it about me. Right. And then the horror when I realized I've been saying his name wrong and they <laughs> haven't, they Dude, haven't all my life. Like I respond to any, any combination of those letters at this point, you could say my name freaking backwards, which is novel. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Which That's is novel. Not, I'll oh, still respond. Oh but, man. Uh, you know, it's not that hard, you know, just. Oh, I'm so out. glad you're, you're cool about it. You never even brought it up. And then, uh, but I'm glad everybody even noticed. <laughs> That's great. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Knife Guy. Like I said, links down below for Knife Nuts podcasts, episodes through their website, stuff on YouTube. Check them out. Follow them on Instagram. This was really fun. Thanks again for hanging out today. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dick. Yep, absolutely. All right. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that middle complex logo. It's either on the left or right side right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.